A bridge clamp is basically a board with a hole through the center of it that's been cut in half. They work to keep two boards on the same parallel plane. One of the most annoying parts of doing any kind of panel clamping is that your ends very rarely want to stay together. What I've usually done in the past is just go like this and clamp them together, but usually what happens is I end up having getting dense in those spots or I clamp my glue to the, the boards and then my clamp pads are all dirty and, and the glue dries to the clamp pads. It's just not something I like. So these take the place of where we would put our clamps. But the second best thing that they do is that they help distribute the weight. So you're not putting all the pressure right between the two boards. This just makes a better glue up and you can come in there and wipe off the glue so that you're not having to scrape it off later on. I worked on a different design that allows you to let it sit on the table so that when you go to put your clamp in later on, you're not fighting to try to keep the two pieces together to keep the boards parallel. It's a very simple clamp. I made eight of these in less than 30 minutes. They really don't take very long to do, but let me show you how I did it. Make this, you only really need to have a saw of some kind that will give you straight cuts, as well as some kind of drilling bit that will give you an inch hole. So you can use a forcer bit or a spade bit or even a brad point bit if you have one that's an inch in diameter. With my two x four, I cleaned it up. I've got nice straight edges. You don't really have to do this, but it makes a better example if for the video when I do it this way. I want to make eight clamps all together. So I'm going to divide this into two and a half inch sections. This will be something that will be really easy later on to cut on my table saw with my table saw sled, but you could use a miter saw as well. I'm gonna start off by dividing this into sections. Because each clamp will have two parts, this will need to be divided into two sections. I've got my marking gauge here and I want to set it for one and five sixteenths. This is what's going to divide this board into two pieces. I'm gonna put the letter C right here, cut. So I know that that's what I'm gonna be actually cutting later on. Now I'll flip this over. And the next line that I draw is going to be at 13 sixteenths. I will cut this into two and a half inch pieces, but right now I just want to know exactly where those are gonna lay. So I'll take my ruler and I'm gonna mark off two and a half inch sections all the way down. So now I'll go ahead and use a square and I'm going to draw my intersecting lines. Between each of the marks, I'm gonna add two holes. One's going to be the actual bridge and the second one is what our clamp will be able to rest into. I wanna split each one of these in half, so I'm gonna go with an inch and a quarter. Again, I'm gonna use my square and I'm gonna mark just on the lines where they intersect. Now, since I'm drilling each one of these out, I'll go ahead and use my awl. I'll take this over to the drill press, drill each one of these out at an inch. But if you don't have a drill press, you can do the same thing with just a drill. It really doesn't matter. Now with all the holes drilled out, I'll go ahead and cut along my cut line here, and then I'll hold both pieces together and cut them with the sled. Now, the way this works is it's, it's actually very simple. We're going to take each piece that we want clamped and we'll find the center of each one of these holes for two blocks. So I've got that set and I've got that set over there. After we've clamped the center, we come back with our top piece. And now to finish this off, I can come back with my clamp. I'm not sitting there trying to fight the clamp on the edge. It's really easy to place it on and then I'm just squeezing it together. And now if you do find that you have a little raised lip anywhere, you can always use a mallet to hit it in place. 
But as you can see, with just a small piece of 2x4 that's 30 inches long, you can make these really easy clamps that will keep everything in the same parallel plane. I want to thank my friend Mark for the inspiration to make these. He's the one that came to me and showed me the clamp idea that he had. But let me know in the description below what you think of this or if this is something that you might make yourself.